Text in 710-710. I appreciate, and this has to do with Russell Wilson and Antonio Brown, because there's supposedly some interest that Russell Wilson has in Brown services. I appreciate that Russ isn't jumping on the cancel culture bandwagon. Oh, one of those. There's no question Russ is a man of faith. Is that pertinent? I believe he has a desire to help A.B. redeem himself. America used to be all about the comeback. Here's my take on this. I, I disagree with this assessment of what kind of culture it is because cancel culture is about words and about words having consequences that are, I think, longstanding and maybe in some cases undo. This is actions that we're talking about with Antonio Brown. Sure, comebacks, America, second chances, blah, 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 blah. There are certain points where we should just say about someone who has screwed up so many times and doesn't deserve any of the, any of the benefit of the doubt, here's my stance. Bleep them. Bye. I don't want to deal with you anymore. You don't deserve to have the same kind of access to playing a game for a living as other men who are working hard and are actually model citizens off the field. It's one of, my, one, of my, one of my takes about sports. And people will say, well, Paul, don't you care about second chances? Yes, for some people. Others? You heard what I said. Well, this is more like a 15th chance. Yes, exactly. And it's not cancel culture because he's still getting to do what he wants, but we can all choose to not root for him and yes. not want him on our team. Right, 100%. Russ might have this view of himself as someone who is able to make others see the light when they play with him or something like that. Be, be light, whatever the hell that is. You know, <laughs> like, all right, cool, great, awesome. But at the same time, it, it just feels, I don't want to say willfully ignorant, but if you don't know all these details about Antonio Brown when there's such a long list, like, I, I, I don't get it. Now, I do get the idea of, hey, look, Brown actually was a model citizen in Tampa Bay this past season as a player. And that there's always going to be, whether it's Ben Roethlisberger or Antonio Brown, or many others, where people are just going to look the other way once enough time has passed. And they're fine with that second chance. It's just the way the, the sport works. Like Greg Hardy getting a second chance. How? I, I didn't get that. Greg Hardy basically, like, tried... Did you watch in the middle of one of those games, too? He was on the Cowboys, where he's, like, pushing one of his coaches around, practically. He's, like, threw a clipboard out of his hand. Yeah, now that he's doing, like, what... Uh, UFC, I just or MMA, I just keep hoping that someone's gonna knock him out one day. Yes. I don't think it's happened yet, but yes, yes, <laughs> I would root for that. I would too, but he's never fighting anyone that actually has a chance of beating him. Text in seven ten seven ten. Who cares about Brown redeeming himself? Exactly. Every story in our country does not have to have a positive ending, because guess what? That's not how life works. But also, in certain situations, people don't deserve the chance to, I think, redeem themselves. There are certain things that you can do; you can't come back from. Well, the other thing to acknowledge is that I don't believe he spoke to the media when he arrived there. I don't believe I ever heard an apology for anything. He basically talked about himself as if he were a victim that had been put through so much. Yeah, and that was the worst part of all. You're right, Mora. He made it seem as – this was on media uh, day for the Super Bowl. It was as if he accomplished something. Like the way – like, yeah, I've overcame so much. Like, what? You mean you got a job again because you're really talented? Wow, that's overcoming a lot. Congrats. Must be nice. Must be nice to be able to just waltz through life without any, I don't know, need to live up to cultural, societal norms. Must be great. That's what happens with some of these guys who are great athletes. And my take, I said it before, bleep them. I don't want them in my sport anymore. They don't deserve that second chance. Get out. That's it. End of story. We never hear from you again. But Russell Wilson's advocating for him. And I'm very curious to see what the Seahawks do on that front. That Tampa Bay has not re-signed him probably means that the asking price, the demand, ain't that high. So it might be one of those things where they could take a flyer on. But I have a hard time seeing Seattle, the Seahawks specifically, <clears throat> getting behind a move like that. Pete Carroll and John Schneider. I have a hard time seeing them deciding on that one, yeah, we're going to look the other way.